Vladimir Putin, the president of Russia, is known worldwide for his controversial international reputation. From being a KGB agent to most recently starting an all-out war with Ukraine, he is seen as a divisive political figure in the West. Very few people know that he is one of the most luxurious presidents in the world. Although his net worth is a subject of debate, it is believed to be hundreds of billions. In this video, we examine his rise to power and the controversies around his time as leader of Russia. We also bring all the available information about Putin's lavish lifestyle and the conveniences that the position of power affords him. When you think of the wealthiest man in the world, you would imagine tech CEOs and royal houses. But most people are unaware that Putin could just be the richest man in the world. Putin, who is on his fourth term as the president of Russia, boasts some of the most exotic watch collections, luxurious homes, stake in billion-dollar companies, and many other insane lifestyle choices we love to talk about on this channel. Now, let's get right into it. Born on October 7, 1952, in St. Petersburg, Soviet Union, to Maria Putina, Vladimir Putin was the youngest of three children. His grandfather, Spiridon, was a personal chef to the Soviet Union leaders Lenin and Stalin. His mother worked as a factory worker, and his father was conscripted into the Soviet Navy and served in World War II. He started his academic journey at school number 193 and started practicing sambo and judo at the very young age of 12. He studied German at St. Petersburg High School and remains fluent in the language. He studied law at Leningrad State University and graduated in 1975. His thesis was on the most favored nation trading principle in international law. While at the school, he was required to join the Communist Party and remained a member until 1991 when the party was dissolved. While studying college, he became acquainted with his business law tutor Anatoly Sobchak who would be a leading reform politician. He went ahead and served as a foreign intelligence officer for the KGB with postings in East Germany, and was allegedly an undercover agent in New Zealand posing as a Bata shoe salesman in central Wellington. He retired from active KGB service in 1990 as a lieutenant colonel, and assumed the role of protector of Leningrad State University upon his return to Russia. Within a short time, he became an advisor for his former college tutor, Subchek, the first democratically elected mayor of St. Petersburg. His long-standing relationship with the new mayor strengthened the bond of trust, and within a few years, he had risen to become the first deputy mayor of St. Petersburg. He held several notable political and government positions in the city, including becoming the head of the Committee for External Relations for the mayor's office. By 1996, Putin joined the presidential staff at the Kremlin and climbed through the ranks to be appointed the director of the Federal Security Service by then-President Boris Yeltsin in 1998. While in the middle of his political career, he defended his candidate of science dissertation, which was later found to have plagiarized 15 pages from an American textbook. Shortly after this, he became a member of the Security Council. At this point, Yeltsin was in search of a successor and soon made the unknown Putin one of his three deputy prime ministers in 1999. Yeltsin also stated that he would like Putin to be his successor, and Putin agreed to run for the presidency. Putin was seen as an unknown and unlikely candidate, but he soon won the presidency and ran again for a second two and then a third. He is currently in his fourth presidential term. In 2013, Putin announced his divorce from his wife of 38 years and the mother of his two daughters. He is commonly portrayed as a macho personality and engages in physical and sometimes dangerous sports, such as outdoor shooting, horseback riding, etc. Putin's net worth has been a topic of debate for many years. And rumor has it that he is the richest man in the world but has never been acknowledged by Forbes because of unverifiable sources of wealth. For a president who earns $140,000 annually, his over $1 billion worth of assets are seemingly untraceable. According to official Russian documents, he stays in a 1,600-square-foot apartment in Moscow and owns three cars, a trailer, and an 800-square-foot apartment. This humble persona portrayed by the bureaucrat may be far from reality. 
However, his lifestyle is a testament to luxurious living. With his fleet of cars and aircraft, he is arguably worth a whopping $200 billion. He is rumored to own a 190,000-square-foot mansion atop a cliff worth $1.4 billion and 19 houses in many countries around the world. He also owns 58 aircraft, 700 cars and helicopters, including the $716 million super aircraft known as the Flying Kremlin, which is fitted in a neoclassicist style and has a toilet made of gold. We can't forget the $100 million mega yacht named Graceful, reportedly gifted to him by Russian oligarch and Chelsea football club former owner Roman Ibrahimovic. Putin is said to own a luxurious watch collection worth $600,000. Some of his classic timepieces include the Patek Philippe's Perpetual Calendar worth $60,000, an Alain and Son Tubograph worth $500,000, among others. His mansion, known as Putin's Palace, matches the luxury standards of actual palaces of monarchs across the world. This mansion, designed by Italian architect Lanfranco Cirillo, is reportedly fitted with a helicopter launching pad, a frescoed ceiling, a marble swimming pool, an amphitheater, an ice hockey rink, a Vegas-style casino, a nightclub, underground tunnels, and many more. The mansion is decked out with exclusive luxury Italian brands such as Citerio Atena, Louis XIV-style sofas, a $54,000 bar table, and dining room furniture worth $500,000. The bathroom is not excluded from this lavish furniture choice, as it has $850 Italian toilet brushes and $1,250 toilet paper holders. Now that's how to take a presidential dump. Fortune states that the Putin Palace costs $2 million in maintenance annually and employs a 40-person staff for landscaping. Reuters' investigation claims that the money that financed this mansion was derived from a Russian health project worth 1.2 trillion ruble, which saw the importation of high-tech medical scanners for up to three times the market price. Mr. Putin has, however, denied ownership of this mansion. While testifying before the U.S. Senate Judiciary Committee, the founder of Hermitage Capital Management, Bill Browder, claimed that Vladimir Putin is worth $200 billion. Mr. Browder, who was once an investor in Russia, stated that the wealth was gotten from terrible crimes perpetrated by the Putin government and called him the richest man in the world. In another interview with CNN in 2018, Browder stated that Putin's watch collection was worth multiple times his official salary and was obtained from massive theft from state funds. Although many state-owned industries were privatized under his presidency, he was said to have used his power to secretly own large stakes in several multi-billion dollar oil and commodity firms. Insiders state that to do this, he strong-armed the oligarchs such that they kept most of their powers and aligned with his government. His critics also allege that he owned significant shares in natural gas company Gazprom, a 37% stake in Sergutnevgas, another oil company, and a 50% stake in Swiss oil trader Gunvor. These stakes are said to be worth over $70 billion. As it stands, the actual state of Putin's net worth is unknown, as he has successfully left no paper trail for his assets and properties. But it is said to be hidden in the coffers of his most trusted confidants. His wealth is also undercover behind complex financial schemes by oligarch friends and family members. It is said that Western governments have been seriously trying to track their asset base for many years. These efforts have further been intensified by his attack on Ukraine, which has led to war. The U.S. and its EU have been trying to punish the Russian leader by freezing the assets of known oligarchs to put pressure on Russia. They have also imposed multiple sanctions on the Russian economy to deter the Ukrainian war from extending. It would, however, seem that Putin is reliant on his cunning ability to hide his wealth, thereby making him untouchable. Forbes magazine described his wealth as the most elusive riddle in wealth hunting. Although little is known about Putin, we see that he enjoys the lavish lifestyle of a head of state. We also know that he uses power and intimidation to hide the source and extent of his wealth. What do you think? 
Is Putin the closeted richest man in the world? Let us know in the comments section below. We will be back soon with amazing videos. See you there!